Another weekly cup of Joe, we're talking about culture and creating a deliberate culture. And there's three important ingredients. So this week I wanna talk about ingredient number one, why do you exist? Establishing your why helps in your trajectory moving forward. Let me give you an example. As a marketing company, we're profit marketing. Our why was always, hasn't changed this day. We wanna give people credit for what they do because of who they are. So think about an entrepreneur starts a product or a service. They wanna get credit for this idea, this product, this thing. Well, we help bring that product to life. We help give it wings, all right? But as we dug deeper and deeper into why, to give people credit for what they do because of who they are, it literally changed our trajectory, which was culture. It's not so much what the product is, it's how you bring the product out, how the people gather around, how they work together. That's what really helps propel people and give them credit. And so that very why helped us focus on where we need to go next because we have to evolve. So how do you get after your why? Have a discussion, like why do we exist? And be careful not to go to the what, which is to produce this product, to make money. That's, you know, or it, it, don't make it technical. A why is bigger than that. A why is out to help people. A why is to make a bigger impact on the world. So what is your why? You're gonna to have to gather people around and, and, and ask yourself, why do we exist? I've had grocery stores that exist to enrich people's lives. I've had manufacturing uh, of pizza crusts who, who exist to be the center of the party. Like, why do you exist? Think about that. That's where you start.